Hi guys, this is Meyer here. I'm coming to record a video about the top five things you do when you get a smartphone. I'll let you go. There's no product placement. Um, I'm not getting paid for any of the products mentioned in this video. I'm just talking about the things that I think are important to help you guys out when you buy a new smartphone. First, I'm going to start with my story. My story is that I had a friend that bought a uh, Samsung S7 Edge. Um, she wanted the Note 7, but of course you heard that they've been blowing up. So, um, she gets the Edge. She comes over to my house the same day, drops it in the toilet. Who does it? I don't know. Whatever. I don't know why you're using the bathroom, but whatever. Um, <laughs> the next thing is, um, a couple days later, she drops the, the phone on the ground, cracks the screen. Okay. So, it's an Edge. It's The Edge means glass is going from edge to edge you know, round it off so you can touch on the sides, you need to protect it. Now it's been about a month and a half and the phone stopped working altogether because I'm sure the crack just kept growing and growing and now you, the, t the touch whiz or whatever it is on Samsung, it's not working anymore because there's cracks and it's open and you probably dropped it in the toilet again, who knows, but it's not working anymore. This is the reason why you should have some of the things I'm going to be listing here. So the number one thing on my list, the top five list, is a screen cover because the glass, although Gorilla 5, Gorilla 10, whatever they have, is supposed to be the most durable screen ever and they're not breakable. They're all breakable because it is glass. Glass breaks. So, obviously, get a nice screen cover. I like the uh, Extreme Guard. It's kind of rubbery. I buy it on eBay and um, it's one of those reusable screen covers so mm, it's kind of like to get through the to the glass you have to go through the rubberish plastic whatever material to get to it and it's pretty durable it, it's reusable as well so it's you know you can buy one once a year or buy one every couple years depending on how much use you put in your screen cover their screen covers are great now number two is the case the case you want a case like I showed you already on your phone I buy these on eBay as well um, because they're durable you get it on you stand it up and a uh, great and it's durable uh, you know if I drop this phone it's not gonna crack and this one's easy to come apart so I'm um, put back together a little clip on the plastic plus snap it on and to do stuff is it's good once it's on you want to keep it on as long as possible so number three is headphones. You want to keep headphones that work. Yeah, all your phones come with headphones, but they're not all good headphones. You don't want headphones that come with the phone. Like if it's a Samsung, it, sh it should work all right, but sometimes they don't work that great either. If you got an iPhone, the iPhone headphones probably work the best, but you can get the Beats or whatever. Just make sure that you got headphones that it's noise canceling, keeps out the noise outside, but it doesn't blow up your ear plugs, your eardrums. Um, get a mic if you do everything on the go so that you can talk to people and they're not your voice isn't drowned out from all the sound in the background. Um, number four is a battery charger. Keep a battery charger because no matter how long your li battery life is on your phone, your phone lasts forever, all day or whatever. Um, these new phones, they only have so many cycles of, of from dead to full charge and then the battery's no good anymore. No matter, you can replace the battery, but then sometimes the phones don't charge them anymore. You can't go wrong by having a battery charger because you plug it directly into the phone and it's like you have an extra battery you're carrying with you. You always have those chances when you're not going to have your phone um, with you or charge it overnight and you're going to need it. So, my last but not least is a memory card. You need a memory card because our phones are like, um, the one thing we use for computers, we keep all our data and stuff in there, we transfer, share it, share it, email, whatever, we have it. Um, pictures. We to use it as a camera now. And then um, we take all our pictures and keep it with us, sharing, we do whatever we want with those. And to put music. Music. We use that as like MP3s or iPods. No one uses those really anymore, but that's what we keep on music. So guys, you need an SD card to save all that stuff. Or as a backup. Because um, most people back them up to clouds and all this stuff. But you also need, um, you need your physical backup as well. Alright, so this is the end of my video. I'm trying to make it short because I am, uh, let's just say that I've had too many takes in this video. But more importantly, this video is for you. Um, I appreciate all you guys watching this video because without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So if you enjoyed this video, 
um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments about the suggestions I made, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. And you're always welcome to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs>